Hey everyone, it's Jessica with another layout for the Thermal Web Design team and today I am focusing on the new toner sheets that were released by Deco Foil, and I am going to be using these two that I've pulled out here and I've already matted my photo with some smooth white cardstock and these two toner sheets kind of look to me like a map design or um, like the one on the left almost looks like a wood grain. So I've pulled both of them out and I am just adding some distress inks and oxides to them. Actually, I think these are both inks. Um, so I have pulled out a couple different colors and I'm just using my blending tool to adhere the ink to those just to kind of create like an ombre effect and I'm not doing um, this too particular about how this is applied because I'm actually going to use some um, some dies on my manual die cutting machine and I'm going to cut them up into little pieces anyways and do a hexagon layout today so I'm just basically getting uh, my colors on here just to kind of create an ombre effect in the two different colors on both of them and then I am just flicking on some water and dabbing that up just to create those white kind of marbled splotches onto it and then I'm going to pull out some of the crafting carrier sheets and sandwich some deco foil in between that. I think I used uh, bronze for this one and I'm just going to put some foil down on these toner sheets just to create a nice shimmery effect on them so you can see that they shimmer and they have that foil applied to it after I've ran it through my hot laminator and then I'm going to start working on my layout so there's my photo that I'm going to use today I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of little hexagons in um, one of my collections that I have here I think this one's by Echo Park and I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of these little hexes so you can see them all there on the right I ran them all through my manual die cutting machine backing my photo now with one of the patterns from the collection as well and I have also cut out a bunch of those little hexagons with um, those toner sheets so I'm going to just place them all around my layout I'm gonna pop up a few um, showcasing the um, adhesive foam that we have um, I'm gonna use the jumbo tape roll and just pop a few up here and there and um, then I'm gonna just glue down the other ones using my little tape runner that I have there so here's one of the jumbo tape rolls I absolutely love that they're huge and they have so much tape on them so it really does last a long time and all you do is just cut off um, the section that you need and then just apply and pull off the backing so super easy to use and of course my tape runner super easy to use I love these tape runners they're small and easy to hold in your hand and um, they're super easy to replace whenever you run out I was really surprised the first time that I changed it actually how easy it was to replace the refill in it um, it literally just pops apart in half um, the pink part and then you just insert the new roll and close it back up it is literally that easy and I was so surprised how easy because <laughs> I don't know about you but I sometimes struggle with my tape runners and tape guns and like how to actually refill them and I find some of them are a little bit difficult for me so this one is actually the easiest that I've ever found to replace so that is a definite game changer in my book so here as you can see I'm just adhering down the rest of my little hexes I'm kind of keeping them at a vertical design and then I'm gonna trim off the excess of the ones that are running off my paper my little guy here is coming in on the right as he wants a yogurt opened up so excuse me for that for one moment and um, yeah I'm just kind of placing them all around my page kind of scattering them about making sure my colors are mixed up um, I'm making sure that I'm kind of filtering in some of those toner sheet ones that I made because those are my favorite ones and they match the collection perfectly. I made sure that I picked out coordinating ink colors to go with the collection that I'm using and I'm just going to kind of just keep scattering them around. I'm not putting any behind my photo because you're not going to see that anyways. Um, that one there I'm just kind of lining up just to make sure it's in the right place for me. I wasn't sure how many or how far I was going to go with that, but um, I decided to not go too far past my photo and just kind of focus on the right hand side of my page in that vertical type of design. And I love that little thing that I cut out of one of the papers, so I might throw that on here somewhere. And I'm just kind of staggering these and just making sure that all my colors are mixed up and I pull in some of the red with that camp and I end up actually making that my title. Um, that's not something that I intended to do with this layout. I was actually going to use some alphas and put a title on here, but um, I really liked that little red hexagon that I cut out of one of the um, 
it was actually a sheet of paper from this collection that had a whole bunch of squares and they were just different designs on a bunch of squares and I just cut one down into that hexagon shape. So here I'm just going to trim off the excess using my scissors. So it's super easy. I like to trim them off from the back so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to put my photo down here in a second. Um, this one I'm kind of twiddling with a little bit. Um, it wasn't the right orientation after I trimmed it off, so I end up using a different one because I just couldn't stand that it, the plaid design wasn't the same as all the other ones. So I didn't end up using that one. So here I'm just kind of trying to decide how far over to the left that I wanted to go with it. And I ended up um, just kind of not really going much further than what you see here. Because here I'm kind of staggering them, seeing if I want to fill up the rest of the page, but I decided against it. I really just liked all the hexagons kind of focused around my photo and kind of top to bottom. So I just kind of left that how it was. Here I'm just using a bunch of this foam tape from the roll to uh, pop up my photo with. This is actually the 1 8 size and then the hexagons I use the 1 16 size I believe. So two different sizes, they're different thicknesses. And then um, here are the little alphas that I pulled out. I was going to make my whole title with this but then I just decided to add just to this one because I, f I feel like um, this is where we camp so I wanted it to say our camp and I just thought that was just perfect. And then I liked that little knapsack so <laughs> I really liked putting it right there by my title. And then this cute little sticker that's already in a hexagon shape. It's a little bit smaller than my other ones but I didn't mind. I thought it looked kind of cool that it was a little bit smaller. And then same with this one, I'm kind of just playing with it, trying to see where I wanted to put it in the layout. I don't think I end up using that one in the end, but I save it for something else. And then I'm just gonna pull out some of my stamps here. These are some of the coordinating stamps that go with this collection and some of their other ones. Um, they're by Echo Park as well. Um, sometimes whenever my stamps are new, I like to just rub them on my hand um, just to get some oils from my hand onto the stamp because then I find it doesn't stick to my stamp pad. So that's why I do that. And then you'll see me stamping on that white paper first a couple of times just to make sure I have a clear um, impression and it's gonna cover up my whole entire stamp. And then I stamp onto my layout. And I do, I do like to use that foam um, behind my paper as well because I find that it does stamp a little bit nicer if I have that foam behind there. I've also used um, phone books too, you know, like the old phone books we used to get in the mail. I've used those before too, our own old magazine. So just adding some little stars now. I'm using some black archival ink for this because I like how crisp that stamps and I know that it's going to get a good impression for me. And then I'm just going to kind of see what else I have that will go with this layout. Um, I don't want to add too, too much to it, but I really like these little sticker sheets that I have. Um, so I'm trying to pull a few things off that have red in it to pull in some more red to this layout. And uh, my title was popped up quite a bit from my photo, so I added a little bit of foam onto the, the tail ends of that just so that they popped up and matched the dimension and depth of my photo since it was popped. And then I love that little lantern and cup, so I'm going to add those in, but I end up moving that cup. Um, I thought it kind of looked a little funny that there was a gap in between the two, so I end up moving the cup somewhere else. And then I'm just adding a little wordy bit that says roughing it. And just kind of pulling off little things. I love this little chair and these little stars, so I add those up there. And it again pulls in a little bit more red, which is what I wanted on this layout. And then just adding in my date stamp. That's the date stamp, the roller one by Paige Evans. And then I really like all these little star stickers in this collection. So I'm just pulling off all the red ones and I'm going to use all those on my layout. So I've used quite a bit of this sticker sheet. I should just cut it apart and um, kind of just put them in with my die cuts at this point because there's really not much left on it. So here you see me fiddling with this cup. I'm kind of trying to find a home for it here on my layout. I really like it, so I moved it down to the bottom. And then just adding some black splatters with some black Heidi Swap color shine. So here's a little doodling around my title. I wanted to bring in some more interest to it. And then here's the finished layout. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. So thank you so much for watching today and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.